Okay, guys, so uh, I think Colby, Josh, and Scott in a Facebook group I belong to asked a question about this. Um, I've been installing rails to mount my deck on to later. And I could have got it a little straighter, but it's good enough. They are standing up just high enough so that, let me switch hands on the camera here, if I put, can't see, if I put uh, four by fours across here, they'll just miss the top of the crown of the bus, okay? So, first thing to do is Home Depot calls these Shield this so I can see what I'm. They call that a one inch black iron pipe floor flange. Okay? And you have to drill four holes through your roof of your bus. And put down through. I'm using, I think these are grade eight bolts. They might be six or something a little less but in any case they're much harder than a standard bolt so they won't shear from the weight where I, where my holes go through the rib of the bus of course i need a longer bolt and these are two and a half inch there we go keep things in frame it's really bright out and i can't see the uh, uh screen on my camera okay and these are one inch where I don't go through the actual rib. And you can see here, make sure I'm in frame, that the rib runs right up here. And I got two bolts that ran through the frame and two that ran either side on this one. I tried to measure carefully and get the lengths of my pipes so that each one of these upright pieces and the flange were over a rib okay and then I sealed it around with butyl caulk um, you can get this on Amazon I just got two new tubes today and think butyl tape in a tube okay and it's not cheap it's I think it's about eight something a tube so, but it goes quite a ways. And we've had some torrential rains since I did this, and not one drop of water got through. Okay, now I'm going to show you the inside. Oh, before I do, okay, so I screwed a four inch, they call this a nipple, no laughing now, by one inch pipe into the flange. And here it comes into a T, okay, and then my rails screw into that. And it's, I can shake the whole bus with it. On the ends, instead of a T, I used an elbow to make it nice and clean and keep the water out. I didn't tighten these down super tight, and no, I didn't use Teflon tape or anything. Uh, I tightened up enough, tightened them up enough so that... Um, rain just won't get in. It, it, they don't have to hold any water pressure or anything, so um, just tighten them down real good with a pipe wrench, and that's all you need. Alright, so now we'll go inside. This is the spot we were looking at from the outside, and you can see the two bolts coming through the rib. Now, eventually I'm going to have an oak board that goes across there and hides those. I can't show you much because I've already started insulating the ceiling. But here's this one. Okay, and you can see these are the shorter bolts, the one inch. And these are the two and a half inch with a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And I got them tightened down as tight as I could get them. And that should last a long time. All right, hope that helps. Oh, yeah. And... We'll get through this. <laughs> I 
Hey, too sexy for my hat. Too sexy for my hat. What do you think about that? I'm too sexy for the rabbit. Sexy for the rabbit. The silly widow rabbit. I'm too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. No way I'm disco dancing. I'm too sexy for my gun. Too sexy for my gun. Uh oh. Uh...